Hello, parents, partners, community members. We are in February right now on the Habitat Build, and we've actually taken a break on the project directly. Um, after the holiday break, we had the technical college come in. Their plumbing program did rough in. Morning, everyone. We are with Steve Gilmore of the plumbing program at the St. Cloud Technical and Community College. Steve, you're on day two here, uh, roughing in our first Habitat home build. How's it going so far? It's going really well. The students uh, have been locating the, the piping where it needs to go really accurately, um, not hitting any trusses or anything, which is always a big concern. The structural members are what a plumber always worries about. New plumbers may cut or drill holes in, so we did not do that. The layout was excellent on this house, so we didn't run into anything, and everything is going really well so far. Uh, we also had HVAC come in, and they took care of installing our rough in for all of our heat returns and exchanges and they hooked up a temporary heater for us we also want to recognize jaybird plumbing for donating all of the plumbing materials that the tech college used to rough in our habitat home in addition we took some time to slow down a little bit and hear from chad johnson from uh, central minnesota habitat for humanity he came in and presented to the class uh, what are the schools where you're going to be doing this um, not, nothing next year, but the year after that. Um, I would like to do Apollo. You know, I'm a Apollo grad. It'd be fun for me to get this started there. Um, but probably Elk River, um, maybe Kimball, Monticello, Sock Rapids. A lot of schools, they want to do this, but they don't realize all it takes to, um, to get the program started. So we're doing a little cleanup in uh, second semester here, the start of second semester, and kind of on sabbatical from the house build. Um, second semester crew, or semester two crew as I'm calling them, we've got kids that have had virtual or distance construction one, no construction one, all the way up to construction two. So I'll show you the, a few of the projects that we've been working on here in the first week. We're probably gonna be in the shop for two to three weeks working on all kinds of stuff, and then, um, then we'll start moving back on the Habitat home. So Ryan and Jason are finishing up benches for the Builders Association and tennis team. This eight by 12 shed here, um, this is for Oak Ridge. We started in construction one. I've got my semester two crew doing the roofing on this because they didn't get to do any roofing on the first project on the Habitat home. So they are running out shingles up here. Claire's on the ground doing the cuts. Tucker's gonna be putting the window in soon with Kalen. Semester one kids are doing some fascia work. And that fascia is going up right here. So they're working on that as And well. we've also taken some time to look at some career pathways. Um, stuff we didn't do when we were just building every day in the fall and focused on moving the build forward, taking advantage of the weather window. So what have we been doing since? Uh, we did a little practice siding on this building for Oak Ridge Elementary. So you'll get to see a few highlights of those clips. Um, BD Exteriors, Brian Dene, and one of his employees came in and helped us out for a couple days to get us started working with some steel siding. And we did a pretty good job here. Probably not habitat standard. Um, we allowed a few things to slip, but um, good for our first time and really nice to use this for practice. So everything from installing and hanging a door properly, putting door hardware in, to siding. Um, and we're, we're gonna actually be moving this out of the building here in the next day or two. We got two more pieces to install and we'll be done. So anyway, um, we've got some highlights from that over the last uh, month or so. We wanted to share that with you and then we are gonna be getting back onto the house project here shortly. We'll be doing vapor barrier insulation and start on drywall. So we'll have some videos from that on our next highlights.